Look at that breakfast. Russ is a regular homemaker now. And we're off, garage sailing. First stop, farmer's market. That we just found here. See if we can check this out. Alex is gonna get a little iced coffee. This pretzel shop, this early. smells amazing. <laughs> Those are cute baby days. So witty. Reminds me of Stranger Than Fiction. All right, we've had a slow morning garage selling, but I just got a trunk. And it fits perfectly in my car, look at that. Eric and, and uh, Alex loaded it up. But it's antique and it's got some mold inside, but we're gonna see what we can do with it. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, I need an end table so maybe I can work it into the living room decor. Look, fresh cut flowers. They cut them off, so they're selling the plant. Marissa and I just made a grocery store run to get baking soda, because the trunk smells a little funny. So I'm gonna try to knock out the smell. We are dri we're driving right now through a really adorable um, part of Wake. It's called the Historic Mill Village area. And most of the houses are these square homes with square hip roofs and chimneys poking out right at the top, right in the middle. And they're all really cute, bright colors and just a really adorable, adorable area. Right now we're getting ready to take a break, or I'm taking a break. We're having a little bit of lunch, of course. We're gonna have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> jelly sandwich. <laughs> Alice is gonna have the jelly, and I will have the peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> so it'll be great. This is Marissa. I've commandeered Shannon's camera just to show them. Working together on this trunk, Alex has put on a mask to come out here and help her out despite his excessive distaste for the trunk. How sweet. So nice to see them together. Hello. Um, I know you haven't seen me much on the video today. Well, for the first part. It's because I had a terrible headache and I was not the nicest person. I was very cranky and sleepy and like I had like, one, like an eye migraine, so like I couldn't really see and it was just terrible, terrible news. Okay, I'm putting baking soda in here, so I can leave this air out, and I don't want to put the baking soda right onto it, because I'm scared it's going to make some kind of like muddy mess, so maybe if I leave a lot of this baking soda in here, it'll soak up some of this, these smells and make it not so musky. Okay, so we're in a little specialty shop, and they have hot sauces, so I'm definitely going to have to choose one of these. I mean, this one, this one says it's darn good, you can't argue with that logic. Did I already see one that was darn good? We're at this little store and they have little cubbies and they say like, <laughs> fun and fabulous. What's yeah. that? And for people who know what this is, it's a consignment little store. Market. But I actually um, went, oh, hi internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, when me and my dad were in here, my mom was shopping forever and we got into an argument about how much they charge for these every month. And so we went to the sales desk and pretended like I wanted to open one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I got the whole vendor information thing and we read it over. And uh, it was really interesting. One of the big ones here can go for like $400 a month. Mm -hmm. Like bring in examples of your product and like how you're gonna, <laughs> how you're gonna decorate it and they have to approve you if you're cool enough. Anyways. Ooh, I actually might need that. It's cereal. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, creative gifts? I just feel like that goes like, it's less creative if you label something creative gifts. Like it was just gifts. Like, oh, Not very original. Be, this is creative. Yeah. yeah. It's like there's <laughs> in strip malls that are called like, like, fabulous fashions is like their name. It's like, you have to say it's, it's fashion and then it's fabulous. It's, it's not. not yeah. <laughs> this scary. It looks like worms. Mm. Oh, there you go. I really like this section. It's all artsy and pretty. This is the kind of stuff I like doing. <laughs> Don't touch it. Look at the texture here. That's so cool. Yeah, I think that's really neat. Eric doesn't understand this artwork. Eric is not impressed. I mean, I understand it. I'm just not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he doesn't understand why people would want to have artwork like this. I well, have a little antique shop. A lot of cool stuff in here. Very vintage retro. -y. It's very fresh in here. Yeah. Not cluttered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like one of the clean ones. Like we 
went to a couple of them. It was just like junk everywhere. Oh, look at this. It's got a little cap. It's all snazzy. I like little glass bottles. That's cute. Well, I got some advertisements. They're old magazine ads, and I got them for a dollar at this place. They're really cool. Alex is a. I don't know if you, have you ever said what your major is. Uh, I believe so. Okay, he's an, an advertising, advertising major. If you haven't watched our other videos. So this is an Oldsmobile magazine ad. I got a old radio yeah, ad. Crosley radio ad. And then I got a Genco razor ad. And because they're all for a book. But you want to buy the razor your beard and skin require. Yeah, so it's very nifty. I'm gonna try to make make these into like I put them like frame them and then put them up on my wall. So we're having this problem where everyone decides to close early on the weekend. So if you want to go to Wake Forest downtown little shops, you should head here in the morning because they all close between noon and five. Oh, a couple places at six. That's a problem. Marissa got bowls. Bowls. Whole set. <laughs> Marissa's found her spot. Look at this. I was looking to these like records. Look at that, 16 hits of the gay 90s. I guess that's 1890s is the carriage. Okay. Shenny's putting pennies on the train track. I think it's actually illegal. <laughs> I don't know if you put this Whoops. on YouTube. So now we're walking through the Wake Forest Historic uh, District. We've got the, oh wow, this beautiful is, uh, places. This is the this southeastern. Is the this is the missions southeastern. building. Southeastern. It's very pretty. What was that? This is the Southeastern Baptist Theological Theological Very cool. Seminary. It's a mouthful. Look at these guys. They're all pokey and funny. They look fuzzy, but they're actually really pokey. Shannon likes taking pictures. Okay, we're going to Las Margaritas. Mexican restaurant. Which is downstairs. <laughs> Alright, we're inside Las Margaritas. And I got the Mexican pizza with some kind of thing like Costa Guac or there's actually stuff down here. It's very good and then a stew, Mexican stew burrito and an enchilada and it's so, it's full of so much flavor. It's so good. Alex. That cheese sauce. What? Oh, I have the Chipotle burrito. Or, there was two of them, a demolished one. It was very good. There is Chipotle peppery. Um, I think Marissa got a burrito and rice. I did. Very good. <laughs> burrito and rice. Classic. <laughs> and then Eric got, what did you, you had a, a fried cream burrito. Fried cream burritos. Which looked fantastic. <laughs> it's quite tasty. Right now. Okay. I wanted to introduce Henry, my house plant. Um, this was the first plant. Hello, Henry. Hi, Henry. This is the first plant that me and Eric got as newlyweds and in fact until today, yesterday, it was the only plant that we owned and we talked to it. It's like our child. It's I'm a better parent, but he thinks he's a better parent. We talk about it a lot. She's the responsible one. And he thinks he's, he's fun dad. I don't see it. But Shannon brought us another plant. Oh share. To a gift share. plant. And this plant is a little bit more showy than Henry. No. <laughs> Henry, because, don't, Henry, don't listen. Henry, Henry is our first and most beloved child. This is Fernando. Well, hello. Fernando the orchid, and he has a special place in our heart too. But we'll never replace Henry. No. What are we voting for? So what are we voting for? Between those three, I am eliminating Crunch. No. <laughs> no crunch. Oh. No. Choice. Wait, I think if, you, if this works, you're supposed to have three eliminations if there's four people. That way the last one gets a decision and someone everyone gets a person. Okay. Unless, you know, five options. Anyway, so you eliminated the crunch. Now we just between these two. Yeah, sorry, Alex. So Snickers? What? Okay. Um, Snickers and drumsticks. Okay, well then I eliminate... No, I'm not going to do that. I kind of want the Snickers bar, to be honest. I, lo I love Snickers. Bars? Oh, that's three. Okay, good. Because I wanted Snickers, Snickers and I wanted to eliminate the drumstick, but I know Eric loves the drumsticks. I, I didn't want to like stab so him in the back. We got a winner. We got Snickers.